Uh, mm. Well, a new poll from Morning Consult finding President Trump is rising in the polls after a second indictment. He's now at 59 percent. He was at 54 percent prior to those charges. The poll also has Trump in a tie with President Biden in potential 2020 rematch. At the start of June, Trump was trailing Biden by two points. Biden still has a four point lead in a potential matchup against Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Lee Carter. So I think this whole thing is so fascinating. Often we've said that watching Trump is counterintuitive. It's like opposite day. It's the opposite of what you would expect to happen. There's some really interesting polling about how people view uh, Donald Trump after uh, after all of this. And in particular, I want to look at how Republicans are reacting. So 14 percent of Republican primary voters view Trump more favorably since this has happened. 7%, only 7% say they see him in a worse way. 61% say, you know what, there's no change. This is fascinating because his message is working. He's leaning into it and saying, look, this is a witch hunt. People are repeating it. They seem that it's unfair. 76% of Republican voters say this is politically motivated. Only 12% say this is a security risk, which is the exact opposite of how Democrats view it. So people just aren't viewing this in the same way. It's like Republicans are Mars, <laughs> Democrats are from Venus. We don't see the world at all in the same way. And I think it's really important everybody takes a step back and tries to understand what's going on here. Tiana, I want to pick up on this because the former president did accuse the Justice Department uh, of a double standard when he was in New Jersey. This is when he was speaking last night. Let's watch this. After leaving the White House, Bill Clinton kept 79 audio tapes in his sock drawer. <laughs> They included discussions of U.S. military involvement in Haiti, discussions of U.S. foreign policy, both defense and offense. It's Cuba. Joe Biden had troves of classified documents from his time as vice president and even as a senator, which was completely and totally illegal. Hillary stored vast quantities of classified and sensitive information on her illicit server. Three things can be true at once. One, the Espionage Act, and maybe for that matter, the Presidential Record Act, Records Act, do need to be reformed. And this was true before any of this Trump business. Two, there absolutely is a double standard, right? The, 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 what James Comey decided in not prosecuting Hillary Clinton for very similar offenses, that created a double standard and they're running afoul of, or they, that created one standard that they were now running afoul of, and it is a double standard against Trump. Three, that doesn't mean that he needs to be rewarded with the GOP nomination or the presidency, right? We can all recognize that this is somewhat political, right? And the fact that it's not up to Jack Smith to make it political, right? He was just given a job. I don't know any prosecutor who would have been in his position and not come up with those charges. It's the matter of Merrick Garland and the Biden DOJ appointing that special counsel in the first place when it's just the same offenses that Hillary Clinton was charged with. Adam, these are very serious charges. They are. And even, even if he's convicted on one, that could be a life sentence for him because of his age. And there are 37. And there's 37 of them. And, you know, even his former attorney general, even Bill Barr, yeah. uh, has, who has defended President Trump on many other occasions, would not defend him on this because of the seriousness of holding these classified documents. And he is on tape. So I, don't, I think the gravity of this, d does the former president understand? Or can he acknowledge that? Do his supporters understand how serious these charges are? Um, no, and his behavior would suggest that no, he generally doesn't um, grasp the weight of allegations that uh, are against him because he generally assumes that they are political. And many of them may indeed be. Um, both can be true, as Tian both, said. Both can be true. Um, you know, remember, there are also uh, um, allegations, and there's a lawsuit in New York City uh, regarding tax fraud, and somehow we've forgotten about that. That still exists as well. So he's actually, you know, it's like fighting a, a, a war on, uh, on two oceans, right? It's like World War II for Donald Trump. There's an Atlantic and a Pacific. There are the New York tax allegations. There are the Florida uh, document allegations. And there's possible Georgia uh, charges coming as well. And so there's a, there's a lot circling. He's got a full plate. There, yeah. All right.